Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Boom City. Today we'll see one of the SQL topic that is C TAS. C T A S. That means create table as select. So it is for backup purpose. Let us discuss what exactly it will do. C TAS. It is used to create. If you want to create any backup table of the existing table, we'll make so C TAS concept. So purpose is what. So backup table, if you want to create any backup table or application table or login purpose. So by all this purpose, we'll make some CTAS concept. Mainly, mainly for backup table creation, we'll make some CTAS concept. So let us discuss. So I want to create a backup table. So this is my customer details. It is having two columns, customer ID, customer name, and two records, one Pravin, two Kumar. So I want to create a table with the same data, with the same definition, with the same data. So two columns and two values. So name of the table is customer details backup with data. So exact replication of this customer details I want to create. So how can we achieve by using C test concept? Okay. So to select start from customer details, it will project all columns and all values. So by using C test concept, create table C T table table name. This is the new table name. Customer details backup with data as. So that what a new table created with the same definition, the same data. Now we'll see one more example. So backup table without data. So customer details I am having it is having two columns and two rows. I want only data definition. So I don't want the data. I want only definition. Definition in the sense like columns I want to create. So customer ID, customer name with without data. So I want to create a backup table without data. How can we achieve this? So this is the backup table. If I put select star from customer details, what will happen? It will project what are the records are there? It will project all records. So we are having two records. Now I'm putting one condition that is where one equal to two. So where one equal to two in the sense like it is a false condition. When I put the false condition, it won't it won't give any data. So it no data form. So when I query this one, we'll get only definition. So on this top of we'll create table. So create table table name. Our table name is customer details backup without data. So as so C T A S create table table name as select star from customer details. So if I put like this, we'll get data definitions plus data. But I don't want data. I want only definition. That's why I'm putting one false condition. So when one equal to two, it's a false condition. It won't result any records. So only definitions will be copied. Hope this is clear. So if I want to get data, we don't put any filtering condition. If I want only def definition, I don't want it. Then we'll put one false condition. We can put either one equal to two, one equal to three, anything can able to put. Hope this is clear. Now we'll see real time usage of C test concept. Okay, this is very very important in terms of interview as well as in real time we'll make use of this. So create table table name as select star. So real time we'll see real time uses. So mainly if you see you no know, backup. So if you see in your back like WhatsApp, you no, can able to see like I want to do backup daily backup or weekly backup monthly backup or when you click on backup it will come. So same set as concept they should have used in WhatsApp. So let us see one uh, like a real time uses. So if you want to understand, I should have better understand the following concept DDL. So for creation of table DDL data definition lines insert DML TCL commit and select statement DRL where is for filtering classes C state is to get current date as well as timestamp current month how to get current month how to get current year so to care functionality trunk okay so by using this concept we can able to see what are the real time use case by using C task concept okay DDL these are SQL statements, filtering classes, date and timestamp, current month and year, current year, two care and trunk months. So for this purpose, I'm creating one employee details table with the following columns, employee name, employee name, salary, job role, date of joining. So this is the important column, date of joining is date column. I'm inserting one some data, commit. Whenever creating anything, you no know, make use of like alignment. If you see all are in alignment, okay. These are the coding standards we need to follow. Okay, so if you see all are in same thing, okay, alignment. This is the coding alignment we need to follow. Okay, so whenever you develop anything, you no, know, we should make use of Notepad plus plus and this alignment we need to do. So I'm creating some dummy data by using select statement that is data retrieval language. I can able to see the data. Okay, so in this one employee details table, there are six records are there: employee name, employee name, salary, job role, date of job. So if you see date of January, today's date that is 16th August, I have created two records. So in August month, three records are there. In 2022, if you see current year, four records are there. In previous year, two records are there. Okay. So based on this thing, you will create data. So if you see the one more time, here we are, it is having five columns and six records. Okay. Date of joining is the main column we need to consider. 
but we have created two records august month one august month three records 2022 year how many cards four records has been created and 2021 we have created two records okay we'll see now i want to back up the if you see here this is our select star from employees view all records but i want to back up today's records how many records are there today if you see sixth and one suresh b pravin kumar b these are the two records which are joined today i want to create backup of this particular table how can i put if i put select star from employee details what will happen it will project all details that means all six records but i want to get only two days record if i want to get two days record will make a trunk of this state concept so trunk of date of join equals to trunk of sys state so what it will do if you if you sys state will give date plus time stamp but you see date is there but time stamp different time stamp is for this purpose i am using trunk function trunk what it will do it will eliminate the time stamp it will only cancel the date so that date date is there so that it will pick two records now i want to create the backup table we make us of sys as concept create table table name so employee details backup bkp is the backup 1608 So sixteen month but today's date zero eight is the month and twenty twenty two is as select option. So give the name in such a way that by seeing that we can able to understand. So this is the employee details backup table that is sixteenth August twenty twenty two. Hope this is clear. Okay, I want to extract two days transactions. So we can use our trunk of this date. So two records will be created in this particular table. Now we'll see current month data backup. So I want to backup August month. How many records are there? If you see. Three records are there. Sixteenth August two records and first August. So I want to create current month that is not August backup. So if I put select star from employee details, what will happen? It will project all records. But we need to filter the condition. Okay. So where two underscore can date of join. I'm putting month y m o n y y. So I'm taking August twenty twenty because I know current month is August. So I put like this hard coded this thing. So August twenty twenty two. So it will extract only three records. So if you put it, we put all records filtering concept. It will project only three records. So on the top we need to create. So this is for sorting purpose. On the top I am using C task concept. Create table employee details backup. August twenty twenty two. Okay. Hope this is clear. So if I want to get August month, we will make so. If I want to get June month, we will make so June. So next requirement is what current year backup. So if you see here, all records are there. I want to extract twenty twenty two. So twenty twenty two twenty four records are. There. Hope this is clear. So how to get? If I put select star from employee details, it will project all records. So I need to filter those records. Okay, care of date of join. I want extract only year because I want to get twenty twenty two. So if you see here. This twenty twenty two. I am extracting from the data. I am extracting only year. I am matching with twenty twenty two. So first four records will get mapped here. So on the top we need to create the table. So C task concept. Create table. Table name as BKP twenty twenty two as. Okay. Hope this is clear. This is so by seeing this one you can say okay this is the backup table of twenty twenty two year. Backup table of employee details that two for twenty twenty two. Now one more requirement. Previous year data backup. So if say previous in the sense like twenty twenty one two records are there, so I want same requirement. So same thing is there. We need to fix that query. Okay, it will project all records. We need to filter them by using two care function. So date of joining, I want to extract year by 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 twenty twenty one. So twenty twenty one in the sense previous year. So I'm doing order by class. So the data will get sorted. On the top, what we need to do? We need to see as concept. So employee details BKP twenty twenty one. Okay. So by seeing this one, we should say this is the backup table of employee details for twenty twenty one. Oh, this is clear. Okay. So C task concept we have seen like so same backup. See you see the WhatsApp. So if you see now there will be backup will be happen. So they click on daily. So they will create the table. They click on weekly. Weekly table will create monthly. So they, like this concept they should have used. Okay. C task nothing but backup purpose. C T S. Create table table name as select star from water the table. If you want data, we should not filter anything. If you if we don't want data, we should use filtering condition or false condition. Hope this is the new batch is going to start on August twenty. It's a five weeks program, so SQL and PLS SQL training with real time scenarios. Okay, daily task will be provided. Okay, so this in the real time scenarios we can able to see like coding standards, 
into preparation okay working a lot and how to do unit testing how the code will be developed in the development environment and how to move to production so like environments will be covered so if you want to expert in sql and ps sql or if you want to get a job using ps sql can able to join this batch okay so this is my number you can able to reach out on this number so if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching